Hey, we wanted to do a video today. We just got the new SOCAR X1 from Power to Fly uh, put together. There's a totally separate build video for that. Um, if you're thinking about purchasing one, uh, you definitely need to check that video out. But today's video, we wanted to show you kind of a comparison between the trikes that Power to Fly uh, has to offer. And we're gonna start with their smallest one, which is the Calibri trike. Uh, this is where we first started. And uh, this is a Power to Fly Titan. And this runs the 130 prop with a most of 185. And of course, this entire assembly comes undone from the rolling chassis. So you can either foot launch or you have the option to install it on the trike and, uh, and have a small trike. The difference here, obviously you see there's no cage bars or anything up here. It uses all the same connection points and swing arms, um, just like a foot launch unit does, but it puts you on wheels. And so it gives you an option there. If you don't feel like running, if you have a no wind day, uh, these things are really fun. You still do get weight shift authority because of the swing arms. And so it gives you a really similar uh, flight experience to a foot launch unit uh, without having to run. Um, we ordered the optional uh, heel hoops on ours. And so it's easy just to kind of rest your heel up in these hoops instead of having to keep pressure and tension on the front foot pegs. So this is a really neat option that not all uh, trikes come with as well. And you'll see that there's some adjustment here um, in this front. And so you can pull these quick connects out and slide this forward or backwards, you know, to fit uh, your height uh, as well. The also neat thing about this trike is portability. Uh, even though it's a trike, there's two quick connects in the front and then there's pins on the axle. So if you pull these pins, they'll slide right out. The axle is removed. And what you do is you basically just leave the foot launch portion attached to just this little center section, which is probably only a few pounds more. So it's easy to pick that up and then separate the trike. And of course, it's really easy to assemble once you get to the field um, and fly. And I wanted to give you some dimensions so you'll have those to compare them to. But the Calibri trike, the width of the axle um, from the outside of the tire to the outside of the tire is going to be 65 inches. Now our overall height from here to the ground is 63 and a half. But this is like I say a 130 propeller with a 140 hoop. If you do make a Titan XL with a bigger prop, of course bigger hoop, be a little taller, um, but not much. Um, the overall length uh, from the rear of the prop to the front of the tire, if you want to keep it assembled and put it inside of a trailer and store it, uh, was 74 inches. So two inches over six foot, and, and you're able to store that and keep that. So a lot of fun. Now our next step up in the lineup is the new SOCAR X1. And we just had the privilege of being the first uh, in the United States to receive one. And uh, we also did a build video on this one as well. And the next step up in the lineup is the Phoenix trike. Now this is my personal unit. It's a tandem trike. Uh, as you can see, the front harness here is folded down, but uh, it's a tandem trike. And I wanted to show you some of the similarities and also some of the differences uh, in the trikes. If you'll notice that it's easier to see on this one that the entire front end uh, and the main chassis um, of the trikes are actually really, really similar, if not almost the same. If you get back here to the back, to where the engine mounts, the spine, uh, and everything, all these dimensions are also similar to the larger Phoenix trike. Now, when you first see the trikes, you notice that the hoops or the cages, there is a pretty drastic difference um, in the height here uh, compared to here. This new SOCAR, we're running a Moster 185, a dual start engine, but with a 140 centimeter prop. Um, this unit is capable of running the Cosmos 300 water-cooled engine, uh, just like you see on my Phoenix. And this thing would be a hot rod um, and something this uh, small and light with the Cosmos 300, which would be a lot of fun. I fly this solo mainly with the Cosmos, and it has got tons of power, um, and it is a ball to fly. A lot of room, and it's very, very comfortable. Um, let me give you the dimensions on both of these. Uh, the Phoenix and uh, the SOCAR, the width of the axles from tire to tire on the outside um, is 69 and a half inches. The height here is 74 and a half inches, 
um, compared to 68 and a half inches. So obviously you can see in the video uh, the height difference on the cages. Uh, the width on this cage without the uh, line guides is 65. Add uh, about three more inches for the line guides. Whereas on the Phoenix, um, this width is going to be considerably, you know, larger uh, on that as well. So just kind of a good size comparison uh, in between the trikes. Uh, I want to note that this thing, the new SOCAR, um, is brand spanking new. And so there very well could be some changes coming in the pipeline. One thing that we've been talking with about is actually the width of the axle, because if you see here in the video, the tire actually sticks out further than the cage. And so to be able to get this thing in a, say, a six foot wide trailer, that's gonna be pushing uh, the limits. Obviously the height and the width of the cage would be no problem to get in a six foot trailer, but the axles are gonna be pretty close. Over at the Phoenix, a seven foot trailer is bare minimum uh, to get this cage in uh, width wise, and it's really tight. I actually run an eight and a half foot wide trailer um, to keep and transport uh, my Phoenix uh, in. Um, both of them are you're going to need, which are fairly standard in the industry for trailers, is a six and a half foot height. And so you'll clear that easily uh, with this trike. Six and a half foot is really, really tight height wise um, on the larger Phoenix trike. So that kind of gives you a little bit of idea of the size differences in them. Um, far as getting in and out of the trikes, these things are super comfortable and very easy to get in. This is actually easier because I'm not fooling with a front harness like I am on the Phoenix. But you just step right in and sit right down. You've got good height off the ground uh, as far as your hips and your legs. It's easy when you get ready to get out, you just slide right out. And so you're not having to stress and strain getting in and out of the trike. So um, we call this old man and big boy uh, certified because if you're a larger guy, um, I'm 6'1", about 225. Uh, I'm also an older guy, bad back, bad knees. And so it's super easy to get into the new SOCAR. Uh, on my Phoenix, it would be just the same, except I still have my front harness here in the front. And so I do have to kind of step over that front harness uh, getting in of the trike. Once I'm in the trike, I've got just as much room here um, that I do in the new SOCAR. Um, so both of them great trikes. And I'm really excited for the new product line here. Um, if you're interested in the SOCAR, I recommend you reach out to Darren uh, and Alan at Carolina PPG. Um, they are the power to fly U.S. importers. And uh, he's going to be in the works. There could be options for this as far as axle width, as uh, far as the cage sizes, different engines um, as well. And they're in the works on actually doing a small tandem kit as well so we can take and add this harness just like on the phoenix and we can add a harness here and do a, a smaller tandem trike um, as well and so a lot of options um, that you can do on this one but that gives you a good idea of the differences in the power to fly trikes and uh jacob will do a quick walk around just to kind of give you some visuals there and uh See what's what. give a really uh, special thanks uh, to Miguel at Power to Fly and uh, Darren and Alan at Carolina PPG, um, the Power to Fly U.S. importers. Um, they've been some great guys to work with. We have thoroughly enjoyed all of our Power to Fly products and uh, we fly them and use them uh, regularly. And uh, so reach out to those guys. There'll be an included link down below if you want to contact them. If you have any questions or concerns, leave some comments below. We'll be glad to answer those for you as well. Hey, thanks for watching the video and have a blessed day.